I constantly hear people telling me I want to get into real estate, but I have no money. I have no credit. My credit is trashed. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done a deal before. Um, no one in my family's ever gotten into real estate. How am I going to do it? Let me give you an example of a real deal that I just got under contract that any newbie investor can do. Okay, even if you have no money, even if you have no credit, there's no reason you cannot do this deal, no matter how inexperienced you are. Okay, let me give you an example. Here is a buy sell of a property that I just got under contract, and I've blocked out some of the uh, private seller's information for privacy reasons, obviously. But check it out this is a buy sell agreement. Okay, I got this property under contract for $80,000. Now, I want to show you something. Here are some comps that were provided to me by my realtor. If you can see down here, this house is worth about $170,000, okay? So I got this property under contract for less than 50% off. All right, I got a, I got a half off deal here. $80,000 and I'm gonna buy a $170,000 property. Now it does need some work, but my estimates is gonna be about $25,000 to fix it, 25, 30 grand. So, for, for $110,000 total, I can have a fixed up, nice $170,000 property. That is an amazing deal, okay? That's a great deal all day long. I could flip that house, I can keep it as a rental, I could buy the property, refinance, get all my cash out. There's a lot of things that I can do uh, with a deal like this. Let me tell you why a newbie, any newbie investor can do a deal like this, okay? Because right now, uh, this is the beginning of June that I'm filming this, okay? The beginning of June, I've got this property under contract. Now, what that means to have a property under contract is simply the buyer, uh, I'm the buyer, the seller has agreed to sell me the house for, for $80,000 and they've signed their name. This is an executed, executed buy-sell. Again, keeping some things out for privacy reasons, but... They have agreed to sell me this property. Now, this is a private transaction. This is off the MLS. Uh, so I went out and I found this, um, this seller who's willing to sell the property. And we came up with this agreement. So right now, currently, I have no money in the deal. And well, I, I shouldn't say that. I spent less than $100 in marketing things, you know, letters and stuff, and just, just general, um, you know, gas driving around in the car, like just, just nominal amounts to be able to find this property. Um, okay, but less than 100 bucks in hard costs to find the seller, negotiate this deal. Right now, we have the property under contract. So far, this is just a piece of paper that we have uh, made an agreement on. The title company has all of the details and they're gonna be closing the transaction for me. So right now, currently, for less than $100, and this can be the cost of gas driving around looking for vacant houses, this can be a few letters in the mail, this can be um, you know, your cell phone bill to make some calls, like whatever. I mean, for a nominal amount, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a property under contract uh, for $80,000. Um, uh, a 50, uh, 50, 50, I'm buying this property for like 40 cents on the dollar, 45 cents on the dollar, something like that. So the way that this is, the reason that any newbie can do this deal is check this out. This is just a private transaction that we have agreed to. $80,000. Here's my closing date up here. July 25th. Okay. Now it's the beginning of June. So I have almost two months to close on this property. Why is that a big deal? Well, it's a really big deal because you know what? Even if I had the $80,000, I don't wanna necessarily put my own money into this deal. If you are in a position like I was when I started um, you and you don't have $80,000, guess what? You've got over two months to find $80,000, okay? So you've got two months to put this deal together. Now, do you think someone is going to loan you uh, $80,000 or $110,000, the total amount that you need to do this deal, $80,000 plus the $30,000 rehab cost. Do you think someone is going to, do you think you can find $110,000 in two months to buy a $170,000 property? 
absolutely. There's a million ways to find that kind of money. Even if you have terrible credit, even if you have no money to start, there's a million different places that you can look. You can look at construction loans. You can look at partnering. You can look at a HELOC, home equity line of credit. Um, you could look at, uh, consider seller financing. I mean, there's a million different ways that you can put this deal together. And if you're hungry, if you're a new investor in it and you get a deal like this on your very first deal, you are going to do whatever it takes to, to put this deal together. And it might be something as simple as calling one of your family and friends and saying, hey, I've got a great deal. Can you help me do this? So uh, there are tons of ways to put this deal together within a two month period using absolutely none of your own money, no matter where you are starting from, okay? It just happens to be your creativity and your hustle. Now, mo money's not gonna fall out of the sky if, you just, if you're just sitting on your hands, but if you are a new investor and you get a deal like this and you've got two months to figure out how to put a great deal like this together, easy, no matter where you are starting from, easy to put a deal like that together. And there's a lot of different ways that you can figure it out how. Here's another thing I want to point out. Okay, I've got two months to close on this. Check out my earnest money here. Guess what I have at risk? 10 bucks, okay? So the reason I say any newbie can do this deal is because if for some reason I pull out all the stops and I hustle and I look for $110,000 over the next two months and no bank is gonna loan me money, no private investor is gonna loan me money, I pound the streets and I do whatever I can to find this find the money to do it and I just can't do it, guess what? The most I'm risking in this transaction is $10. And uh, if, I, if I really am tied to my $10, guess what? I've got contingencies in here that allow me to back out if I, if I want to, okay? So seriously, the reason, the reason that I say any newbie can do this is because if you cannot, for whatever reason, if you get this deal under contract, the worst absolute case scenario is you can't execute it. You can't pull the trigger and you lose your earnest money. Guess what? You lost 10 bucks, okay? So there's no risk to you in going out and getting, uh, getting properties like this under contract. The best case scenario is you get an amazing deal, okay? Using none of your own money, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right here, all right? Um, and you've got two months to put a deal like this together. No matter where you are currently starting from, any situation you are in, I guarantee you can figure out how to put a great deal like this together in two months time. And even if you didn't, the only thing you're gonna risk is 10 bucks, okay? So that's why I say deals like this are very, very easy for any newbie to, uh, to put together. So go out, learn how to find deals like this, and no matter where you're starting from right now, you can easily make a bunch of money in real estate just off of deals like this.